This is Raja Sharif at the Variety Arabia studio and we have Farhan Akta, the director of Don2. Welcome Farhan. Thank you very much. Farhan, you're a man of many talents. What do you prefer doing out of all those talents? Um, it's a very tricky question to answer actually um, because uh, for me really being involved in, in a film in whichever capacity uh, I can be, you know, as as producer, as as director, or as an actor, um, eventually facilitates the same result, which is to make a movie. So um, I, I I really can't pick one, you know, over the other because I I just I enjoy the process too much. How easy was it to work with Shah Rukh Khan and Priyanka Chopra? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're they're very professional. They're very uh, uh, committed to their work, and they're very prepared for the roles that they perform. So it's, it's, uh, it's a pleasure as a director to work with them. You know, someone who's very, very committed to the role and, and very excited and challenged by it. So, so it's always a pleasure to work with them. The international market has become more and more important to Bollywood. How is the art of directing changing in India? Um, I, I think it's, it's one will have eventually a chain reaction on the other. You know, um, there is an awareness uh, of Hindi films of Indian films that's spreading across the world um, that needs to be then eventually supported and complemented by people uh, making movies that sustain that interest you know um, and then once that happens and people realize that oh they're making films that they weren't the kind of films that they weren't making before then again there'll be a growing interest in it and it'll grow some more so it, it really is um, it's it's a cycle you know and and it's um, um, there definitely are a lot of uh, directors today and writers today who are writing scripts and doing things that were not being spoken about 10 years and 15 years ago you know and uh, so it is something that's that's kind of evolving on on that front as well creatively would you consider doing english language films um again it depends if it's a, if it's a film that could naturally translate or, or would naturally require for it to be made uh, in the english language um i i, I won't hesitate to do it uh, but it, it's again it, to me um i make films at this point for, for, the, for Indian people, you know, and I, I'm very happy to make films for them. Um, and I get to tell them stories that, um, um, that, I, that, that I feel are the ones that I would like to watch and I would like these people who speak Hindi to watch, you know. So that's, that's, that's um, an exciting uh, thing for me to do as a director. But um, there are, I mean, there's scripts, there's ideas that you have, you know, that you feel would probably work better in English at times. Um, and maybe when the right one comes along, you know, I'll, I'll take the plunge or the, or the long jump <laughs> across. Do you have any ambitions to enter the animations market? I don't know. It's, it's not something that, that I feel I want to dabble in at this point. But again, as, as producers, maybe why not? You know, I mean, as producers, if somebody came with an interesting script that could be an animated film, um, I love animated movies enough as an audience, you know, so if I could produce one, if it was cleverly written, I mean, I would do it, but as a director, it's not something that, that I feel very excited about wanting to do at this point now. Could you tell us a bit about the future projects you have coming? Um, the only two projects really that, I mean, can be spoken about with any kind of certainty. Um, one is a, a film that's called Talash, which is being directed by Reema Kakti that we're producing as a company, which is with, um, with Amir Khan and uh, Kareena Kapoor and Rani Mukherjee. So that's a film that should release next year, I think in June. Um, and the other film um, is a film that I'm going to be doing as an actor, which starts in March, which is um, Rakesh Mehra, uh, who did Rangde Basanti. Um, his next film, um, which is based on the, on the life of Milka Singh, the athlete, and which I play Milka Singh. Thank you for being with us today. Cheers. Thank you very much.